Fostering and adoption is a complicated process. As it turns out, a Bloomington man is a national leader when it comes to adoption trauma and healing, and his work is an Instagram hit. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield shares Cameron Small's story. I was born in Korea. I was raised there for about three years. And then after my dad passed away, uh, my mom went through a process to decide, you know, to relinquish me for international adoption. It's been four decades since Cameron Small left Korea, but the memories have never left him. On my uh, quote unquote adoption day, I was terrified and ran back onto the airplane actually, just screaming, Oma, Oma, right? Which means mom in Korean. Getting in this car with these strangers, going to this strange city, this town. That town was in central Wisconsin, where he assimilated to his new surroundings and his loving adoptive parents. A taller white guy and put me on his shoulders and friends asking, who's that? Kind of instinctively or reflexively, this is my dad, of course. Like, why would you even ask? And why are you two together? That's when I started to realize something's different about our family. He suppressed the feelings for a while. Broken English, these certain caricatures, stereotypes represented in media. I didn't want any part of that. But as a young man, he realized his feelings were shared. He became a counselor, and now he's a sage for many. His mission, to address adoption trauma, and it's an Instagram hit. So that they grow up knowing that I have support here at home. Being able to use my voice and my sort of like unique background and experience and to say, hey, we're not alone. We can do this together. There's hope. Cameron's Wisconsin family is cheering him on. He has a thriving counseling practice out of Bloomington, and he will soon release his first book. Oh, I'm, I'm so thankful that my parents have kind of given me that gift of support that I can um, kind of be freed up to share these resources with other people who might be needing it in a very desperate way. All because he leveraged his pain into giving others power. Thanks for stopping by for this conversation today. We're going to get to more of your questions. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO, for News. Cam's practice and Instagram page are called Therapy Redeemed. He is based in the South Metro, but he works with people all over the U.S. His debut book comes out soon.